Hi everybody and welcome to Poppy's Cucina. Today we're gonna do something fun and just totally different. You have heard of French onion soup, right? Who doesn't love French onion soup? So warm and uh, so good. All right, but today we're gonna do a French onion soup tart. What? <laughs> I told you we're gonna do something crazy. I know, isn't that crazy? Mwah. Good girl. <laughs> All right, so keep watching and see how we do this. So good. <laughs> All right, so for this recipe, you're gonna need about two pounds of julienned onions. So I'm gonna show you how I like to julienne my onions. You're gonna see onions have those little general stripes going along. So I already, I cut off the top, I peeled it. I left the base on there a little bit just so it has something to hold together. So now with your knife, carefully, you're gonna follow those lines and slice to the center. See, I'm gonna do it on an angle here. All right, this works really well if you want to um, dice them as, you know, for diced onions. See, because now they're all held together because I kept the root base. So now you would just dice it like this. But since we want them julienne, now we cut up the end. And there you have your julienne onions. Nice and easy. All right, so now we're going to cut up the rest of them. Once you got your onions juliennes into the saute pan, they're going to go with about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And now you're going to start sauteing these first with a high heat and then you're going to lower it to about a medium and then you're going to, um, you know, move these around a lot so, until they start to caramelize. All right. Remember, slow and steady wins the race with this one. If you cook them at out too high of a heat, they're going to burn, they're going to char and it's just not going to be very pleasant. All right. Let's see how these come out. All right. While we're waiting for the onions to caramelize, we're going to start on the sauce that we're going to put on the puff pastry. So you're going to start with one egg with half a stick or four ounces of cream cheese that I softened. I did it in the microwave, it was about to explode. <laughs> um, but yeah, it only took about 20 seconds. So we're gonna mix this together. All right, so once you got it all mixed, you wanna make sure there's no clumps. You're gonna add about a half a cup of grated or shaved Pecorino, Pecorino Romano, a teaspoon of dried thyme, and salt and pepper to taste. Now mix this all up, just like that. All right, so once your onions look like this, they're caramelizing nicely. I raised the temperature, and now I'm gonna add some beef broth. Um, you can add vegetable, you can add chicken, you can even add just water if you want, but if you really wanna have like that French onion soup flavor, I would recommend the beef, but vegetable would work really well too. So you're gonna add a cup and a half right into the pan. All right, and now we're gonna cook this at a higher temperature until all the broth is gone. So that's gonna be about 10 minutes. Mm. Now I want French onion soup. <laughs> all right, so the um, the liquid is all evaporated, it's all gone. You can see the onions are nice and juicy looking. They have a beautiful color and they taste amazing. <laughs> I had to sneak a few tastes. All right, so we're gonna let this cool a little bit um, before we put them on the tart. So we have our thawed piece of puff pastry. So now we're gonna put that sauce that we made right on top. I'm going to do a nice layer all across. All right. And we'll finish this up. All right, so we made a nice even layer. Our onions, is, our onions are cooled, so now we're going to get the onions right on top of this. All right, so we're going to do a nice little layer of that across the whole top. All right, now we're going to finish that up. So we got the cooked onions all spread out on top. Does that look pretty? Looks nice. Nice layers. So now we're going to top with the traditional cheese that they use for French onion soup, and that is some fresh shredded Gruyere. All right, we're going to need about a cup and a half. You know, if you want to use more, you could use more, but a cup and a half should do the trick. All right, now we're going to evenly spread this onto the tart. All right, and this is officially ready for the oven. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, so you're gonna put this in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 25, 30 minutes or until the puff pastry is nice and puffy and golden brown. All right, let's, hopefully this cooks fast. I'm hungry. All right, so it's been about 29 minutes in the oven, so I just pulled it out. Look at this thing, it's huge, but it's gonna settle once it cools. Um, oh, but it smells divine. All right, so like I said, once it cools, it's definitely going to settle down a little bit. Like that big puffiness is going to be gone. It's already starting to shrink on this side, you can see. It's starting to flatten out. All right, so we're going to let this cool before we try it. Oh, I can't wait. So this has been cooling for about 30 minutes. You can see it's now nice and flat, but fully cooked. 
Now we're going to try it. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so it's moment of truth. I cut it up. I think, honestly, I think I cut these in pieces into way too big. <laughs> it's just more to eat. All right, so moment of truth. I'm going to give it a try. Oh, wow. <laughs> it literally tastes like French onion soup. You have the crunch. You have the cheese. The onions, of course. You get that beefy kick. Um, but the sauce just makes it so much cream. It just adds such a creamy element to it. When you really get the time. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> mm. This is that crunch. Again, super easy to make. But wow, that's good. So much flavor. If you're serving this, I would definitely cut them into much smaller. Because <laughs> it'll, it'll disappear too fast if you make these pieces too big. But wow. Super flavorful. So if you make this, let us know. Oh, so good. Enjoy.